welcome to the Common Climber YouTube channel. Welcome to Common Climber YouTube. And today we're going to do uh, the uncoiling of a brand new rope. And yes, there is a technique to this. It's so shiny. I got, I, do you remember climbing in uh, Little Cottonwood Canyon? So one guy's like, yeah, I got a new rope. And he comes out, he rips this off, oh takes one end and tosses it. And then just starts to Oh this. God. <laughs> it's like, it we spent like the hours next later, half you know, an hour watching these it. These tight <laughs> things. And the thing is, is if you, if you do it that way in the beginning, it's going to get kinks and rolls. Kinks all the and way rolls. Through and even into the distant future <laughs> it, it will never it will plague you for a long time so seems like a little thing but it's kind of important so uh, we're going to show you a couple of different um, techniques so typically my experience with uh, uncoiling ropes is uh, doing the do two-person method arm over arm kind of deal which works great in the beginning and you get all excited and you're like, all right this is working and then it gets a little fussy and like halfway through and it's like summer short and it gets kind of messed up and then uh, probably about halfway through the rope then you're just like ah, uh, uh, damn it Ooh, and just start okay then you start going through the <laughs> our goal is to show how this is supposed to be done <laughs> we even coiled uh, a lot of new ropes and and rarely is it ever a truly truly clean oh, process so we'll just see Except there's one brand that makes this has this uh, la uh, coiling technique where it has a hole like right in here, and you just pull right out the hole and boom. But most ropes. So they say. Most ropes. Uh, you got to use this technique. Get your arm in there before you release everything. A drop it into a pile method. We've heard of some people doing this where you're back and forth. Already, I'm kind of a fan of as little movement as possible. Because every time you go over, like a coil can wrap around and you'll lose it. You're on this end, don't pull too hard because it tightens up the coils and, and that doesn't help. <laughs> you just don't want that to get loose and tight or something and kind of wrap up in there. So, I'm not sure what's going on there, so I think I got it all right, but we'll see. Wrist movement. This. Now I'm just kind of swimming with it. And I'm losing. <laughs> oh. oh, hold on. Okay. Oh no! So you want to keep this part separate because that's done correctly. But this, we're going to have to flake several times to get this out. When you're coming off and you have this twist, you want at least between your hands and in the good section to be straight. It's not going to be perfect, but you can get a lot of that by twisting it like this. You don't want to just pass that on. Don't, just, and don't pull it. So you can do, when you get a twist like this, you can do a lasso in the opposite direction to kind of and get some of that out. So I'm going to take the section in between the good and the bad and just redo the bad. So Rick is redoing or reflaking the section that we didn't uncoil correctly. Um, and doing it the opposite way. Not that, from the end yeah. in towards the middle, but the middle. the middle out. <laughs> Feels good. 
Rick was experiencing some loops that were starting to form, so he took the middle marker and he decided to reflake from the middle. Keeping uh, the line separated with my fingers, 